So, um, presently we're in the Lemon Tree House, and this is actually an addition that was put on to the original greenhouse um, that my grandfather began the business in. And this is an extension. Uh, we call it the Lemon Tree House because actually in this house contains one of our oldest specimens in our collection, which is our Ponderosa Lemon. Um, and on the right hand side here is our, um, actually where we keep our citrus for people to pick up and buy. Um, this is a warm house. It runs, um, oh, it never goes below 60 in here. It generally runs around 62, 64 degrees. And again, this is an old structure. It's got cy cypress ash bars, the glass, um, the wood frame um, uh, structure on it. And um, in the middle here, we have a bed where we grow many of our um, stock plants. This is a Eucharist lily, which um, um, is a very beautiful thing. It, it flowers periodically for us throughout the year, and, it, and its fragrance is really sort of a sweet, soapy smell. Um, and it's very um, hardy or uh, resistant to drought stress and distress of watering and such things. It makes a great indoor plant. It also makes a good plant for... Um, southern uh, plantings in tropical areas where they use it for landscaping, put in shade and things like that. It can take a lot of abuse, but this particular cologne actually flowers very freely. It, it's bloomed probably four or five times a year with this um, uh, show of white flowers on it. There's our mother coffee plant. This is coffee arabica. This is the coffee that we drink. And um, you can see the young fruit on it. It's a green fruit here. Um, the interesting story about this plant is, is all my kid days, um, there was a coffee tree here. And when I started working here back in the 70s, um, it would do just the same thing. It was in a pot, and it would run up, and we'd cut the top out and run up. And then somebody finally walked in who was a collector that was trying to fill a, uh, a conservatory. And my the elders in the family uh, were finally convinced that they'd sell it. So they sold this large old coffee plant. And we had some others uh, started around that were in pots and were starting to fruit, so we still had source of seed. Um, but a seed had fallen down into the bed here. And long behold, as time went on, this young seedling uh, germinated and came up. And instead of me digging it out, I left it. And that's, so that's a seedling. It's buried right in the ground here permanently, um, like so many things at Logies. Um, and that's our coffee plant. And what I do is I do the same thing I did with its mother. Uh, I continually chop the top out. And what we do is we'll harvest these berries and plant them. If you wanted to, you could go through the process of actually uh, making coffee. Um, and here's our matriarch of Logis Greenhouses, which is our Ponderosa lemon tree. And this was um, brought into the greenhouses in 1900. Um, one of the older, uh, one of my older uncles remembers going with a horse and buggy down to the um, way way station for the railroad and picking the plant up, it was shipped out of Philadelphia um, with a, several other plants in the collection that my grandfather bought for um, his uh, greenhouse. He actually was, began as a florist, but he also was a plant collector, much like most of us logies. And, um, and so this is, this was plant was set in here and they have pictures of it in the pot and then, you know, then it got big and then they set it on the ground and then finally they planted it. And, it's been in here. What we do is, if you look up in the top, there's there's some uh, growth that's running up against the glass. We'll prune that off periodically um, to contain it. So it never changes for the last, at least all my lifetime, for the last 50 years. It's always been looking just like this. We constantly prune it back, flushes out new growth. And it's also a mother plant for the young plants that we sell. We take cuttings off of this. You can see this is um, it's ripe fruit on it, ripe fruit with these Fairly large lemons. These are somewhat small. Some years they put out bigger fruit. We've actually had them up to five pounds where they've been as big as a football. Um, but this crop this year is a little bit smaller. And you can see the flowers, buds coming for the next year's crop. Um, the interesting thing about lemons and limes is they often will fruit and flower year round. So there's really no end to it. Although this is the beginning of the heavy flowering season and sort of in the middle of the, um, or at the end of the ripening fruit. A lot of fruit has fallen off presently. And also, one of our, the plants that's been here for many years in, in the lemon tree house is our Caliandra. Um, this is, ca it's got a long name to it. This is Caliandra hematiocephala and the powder puff. And um, it is literally a powder puff. Um, this particular variety, flowers in the wintertime, generally from November to March. And so it's really right in the middle of its flowering cycle. And the trick 
uh, it's a good plant for indoors as long as you have sun, but the thing is is you have to uh, prune it at the right time. If you prune it too late, you'll prune your flowers off, and it's also flowering on response to the shortened day length. So as the days shorten, it stimulates buds, and then it comes into bloom. And we're about halfway through um, its flowering. You can see there's still plenty of you know, uh, buds, buds coming. These flowers actually will last just one day and they'll be going in and tomorrow you can see there's some opening up right there and this is yesterday's flowers that are falling off but it's a beautiful showy thing that uh, we've had for many years in the greenhouses so that is our lemon tree house mm -hmm.